All right, welcome back to the channel. So, Daniel Dubois is calling out Deontay Wilder, saying that he's got more tools and he's ready to beat him. Frank Warren is out there talking about him. Man, people really get a little geeked up when their fighter wins, huh? Let's talk about Daniel Dubois and, De and Deontay Wilder in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. So, Deontay Wilder, the former WBC heavyweight champion of the world, has been, is being taunted and called out by Daniel Dubois, who is a stablemate of Tyson Fury and an up-and-coming uh, heavyweight out of the UK. Uh, Frank Warren is his promoter, and Frank Warren said that he believed that he would be ready for to fight a Deontay Wilder at the end. Of, after, I think after the Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury rematch, should he Frank Warren be willing to put Danny Dubois, Dubois right in there? Danny Dubois was interviewed and asked about the asked a question about it. He said that he believes that he's ready for Deontay Wilder, that he's got these tools, you know, he's got a bunch of tools and all that. But let, let's talk about that for a second. Um, because I like Danny Dubois a lot. And I do believe that Danny Dubois is going to be maybe in about three years, four years. I think he really does have the ability to be uh the top. Uh, the top heavyweight in the world. I do. I think he's a terrific fighter. He had a fight coming up that I was really looking forward to and wanting to see, and that was against him and Joe Joyce. If you're not familiar with, familiar with Joe Joyce, Joe Joyce is out of the UK, is another heavyweight. I think he might have been an Olympic. I think he might have been an Olympian, or no, he lost. Actually, he, he lost uh, to Alexander Usyk in the World Boxing Series. Oh, excuse me, the World Series of Boxing. There's two different tournaments, World Boxing Super Series and the World Series of Boxing. World Series of Boxing is like a pro-am type of tournament that is officially professional records, but he fought uh, Alexander Usyk in that fight and lost, but he's been an undefeated heavyweight since then. And he, so he, and I think Joe Joyce last fight, he might've beaten Berman Stavern, but he, Joe Joyce and... Danny Dubois were supposed to fight one another, and that was before all of this coronavirus held stuff up. Um, and I picked Joe Joyce to beat Danny Dubois, and I think it was going to really be his first uh, step up fight. I saw the, the fight, the last, maybe the fight before last that I saw, the best fight for Danny Dubois was probably Nathaniel Gorman, I think that's his name, who was a, a, a fellow domestic level heavyweight. Uh, that was undefeated at the time, and Danny Dubois beat him. Beat him. I think he might have. I think he knocked him out. But Danny Dubois is a really, really good fighter. A lot of people are that I know that are, are really high on Danny Dubois. So, uh, and again, he's with Frank Warren. So it's kind of natural for Frank Warren to mention and start, you know, promoting Danny Dubois. And what better way is there to to promote Danny Dubois than to connect Danny Dubois's name with other champions that have that are very that are relevant in the sport of boxing and have a buzz, really have a buzz around their names. Obviously, uh, the through the three biggest names are Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, and Anthony Joshua. Um, I don't believe that Danny, uh, Daniel Dubois is ready for any one of those three, though. That's my personal opinion. I don't think he's ready for any one of them. Now, what he's what Daniel Dubois is saying, I do believe is true. I do believe that he probably has as many or more to tools, more tools than Deontay Wilder, or at the very least, more things that you see him do in the ring than you see Deontay Wilder in uh, do in the ring. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. And I say this about the Terrence Crawford versus um, Errol Spence Jr. fight as well. And it's this that, yeah, Terrence Crawford has more weapons than Errol Spence Jr. does, at least more weapons that you see him pull out on a regular basis. You never really know what fighters can do in the gym if what they do is go into the fight and they are looking to do one thing. That's their game plan. So they pretty much dumb, not dumb down, but just keep it to the basics so that they can win the fight. And so I think that's the case with Errol Spence. But doesn't mean just because Terrence Crawford has more tools doesn't mean that the one tool or the, the tools that Errol Spence uses is not good enough or are not good enough to get through Terrence Crawford. Same thing goes for Deontay Wilder and, and Daniel Dubois. It, just because Daniel Dubois has more tools 
right? And he's strong puncher. Good doesn't necessarily mean that the that the tools that Deontay Wilder bring to the table aren't good enough to beat him. Now, what I would hate to see with Danny, what I would hate to see with Danny Dubois is what would what happened to fighters like. Um, good example of it is is Erickson Lubin, right? Erickson Lubin, if you're familiar, not familiar with Erickson Lubin, let me tell you who Erickson Lubin is. Erickson Lubin is a 154-pound fighter out of the state of Florida in the United States. He was a top, top amateur and was, you know, just people expect him to be a, you know, future champion the whole nine, the whole nine yards. Um, very well-rounded skill, excellent fighter. What he did was he fought, he went for a championship, and a lot of people were saying, that's too early. It's too early. It's too early. It's too early. But his team believed that it wasn't too early and they put him in the ring with Jermel Charlo. Jermel Charlo is, the, is currently the 154 pound WBC champion. And we see how that played out. And that played out with a devastating knockout on of Erickson Lubin by Jermel, by Jermel Charlo uh, because the dude just wasn't ready. And Jermel Charlo was ready. There is something to experience in there is something to experience and being in difficult fights like Tyson Fury might not take Tyson Fury beat Deontay Wilder. Tyson Fury might not have been able to beat Deontay Wilder if Deontay Wilder had 40 fights and he had 18. Right. If he had not been through the uh, Vladimir Klitschko fight and, you know, and actually went and proved himself on that level before he got there, he might have lost that fight. Or if he had fought Vladimir Klitschko two years before that, when he was 14 or 15 and no, probably would have lost to Vlad Vladimir Klitschko. So you, I just think with Danny Dubois and, and Deontay Wilder, I'm not going to be um, like I don't have an issue with what with what Danny Dubois said, I more have an issue with what Frank Warren said if Frank Warren is actually being truthful about it. My suspicion is, though, that Frank Warren is not being suspicious, that, that Frank Warren is not being serious about that. Unless it is, unless Deontay Wilder went into a fight with Tyson Fury again and then he got knocked out against uh, Tyson Fury again, then you would say, okay, well, this dude is damaged goods. We know how to get, we know how to get to him. Let me give my, let me get this, also very, very big, strong fighter, you know, a chance to go right at Deontay Wilder and see if he can knock out Deontay Wilder. The problem with Danny Dubois doing that with Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury is that Daniel Dubois is not 6'9". And he's not 300 pounds. Danny Dubois is like 6'5", 6'6". He's probably two inches shorter than Deontay Wilder. Which means if you're too much inch, you're two inches shorter than Deontay Wilder, and Deontay Wilder has the reach advantage on you. He can use his jab more effectively. He can use his straight hand more uh, more effectively. And you know, there you go. You miscalculate, and you're you know asleep for a very long time. So, nah, I'm not really feeling. I'm not feeling Frank Warren on this. The best route that I think for Danny Dubois in a fight in a in a in a route that I hope he takes is like I said, I like Danny Dubois. I think that of all of the young heavyweights or the the up and coming heavyweights, I think he's the best one. I I pick him over a uh Ife Agag a Jag Bay versus or the I think is the Ukrainian Vorchek I can't remember it starts with an H so I don't want to kill his name but Horchek Vorchek very hard hitting Eastern European might be around six foot six six foot seven Tony Yoka out of France who I hear good things about but you know he had his issues with a PED the PED suspension but you know of those guys that group of heavyweight and I'm sure there's some more that I'm missing I think that that Danny Dubois from what I've seen is the best of that bunch and very well could get into the position to be the man in the heavyweight division might eventually because of the age difference wind up actually being an undisputed uh, a, an undisputed heavyweight champion. I can see that in the future for Danny Dubois, but all of that stuff goes down the toilet if you throw him in there against Deontay Wilder too quickly and you gauge wrong because dude, all those dudes can go out. Okay, now I hope with one of his one of his um. Uh, tools that that Danny DeBoz has in his uh, arsenal is a ch is a granite chin because if he ain't got that and he gets clipped he's gonna go to he's gonna go to sleep against a fighter that's more experienced than, than he is. Um, now Deontay Wilder is more experienced than, than Daniel Dubois, and I hope nobody would de debate that. Now, what I would like to see from Daniel Dubois is fight before you get up there and fight a guy that can take your head off, man. Maybe you know he needs to step up to the Luis Ortiz's first. He needs to step up to the Dillian 
Whites, uh, to the Derek Chisoras, the, to the uh, to the Joseph Parkers, uh, Carlos Takam, that type of level of fighter. I would think that he needs to get through that level of fighter first, and you know, and work his way up to before you know he gets to the top lot to the top notch to the top notch heavyweights. That's what I would advise him to do because he has the skill and the ability to beat all of those guys. Also, the hit by him going and fighting different fighters of different styles, that means that he might be able to get that heavyweight championship and keep his heavyweight championship because, you know, because he was groomed more, he was groomed more slowly. He was brought up, you know, he wasn't brought up just really quickly and thrown into the first really big fight that he could get. But anyway, I don't have any issue with Danny Dubois saying that or Frank Warren wanting that for Danny Dubois. Danny Dubois, I do believe, is an excellent, excellent, excellent fighter. Um, and I look forward to seeing what he does in the rest of his career. Uh, you let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.